Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Ben Sam Augustin. In this lesson, we are going to enjoy this nice question. So using the sandwich theorem, we are to show that the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared times sine of 1 on x equals 0. So how do we do this in a very simple way? Wow. Remember that we cannot use uh, this. If we take the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared, times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 1 on x, it won't work because if we put 0 here, this will be undefined or this will not exist in a very simple way. So, but we know that uh, sine of 1 on x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equals to positive 1. Wow. So, let us multiply 2 by x squared. Now, we have negative x squared less than or equal to x squared sine of 1 on x less than or equal to x squared. That is very nice. Now, let us write um, this as f of x less than or equal to d of x less than or equal to h of x. Wow. Meaning that f of x equals negative x squared and h of x equals positive x squared. Wow. So let us take the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x. That will be the limit as x approaches 0 of negative x squared. And if we put here 0, this will give us 0. Wow. And if we take the limit as x approaches 0 of h of x, that will be simply the limit as x approaches 0 of positive x squared. And if we put here 0, 0 squared will be 0 and the limit will be 0. Wow. So, the sandwich theorem state that if you have d of x greater than or equal to f of x, less than or equal to h of x, and the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of h of x as x approaches a equals l. Then, the limit as x approaches a of g of x is equal to l. Wow. So now, what is our g of x? Our g of x, our g of x is equal to x squared sine of 1 on x. So it means that the limit as x approaches x squared of sine of 1 on x is equal to 0 from sandwich theorem. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Please kindly like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments.